my squids. <sighs> Not wearing the gown anymore. Today is Saturday the 19th. And I just made it home. I'm gonna make this brief because I'm still in um, a little bit of pain because I've kind of walked more than I have been used to for the past six days. So I think I just need to relax and I'm also really tired. Cause you know, if you've ever been to a hospital, if you haven't, you never ever ever get a good night's rest at a hospital because one, it's just uncomfortable, it's out of your comfort zone. And two, they're waking you up constantly to poke you, to do this, to change your medicine, to give you that. So. Um, it's never a good night rest. Um, so I just wanted to film this. I may film this and include this in a later video. I'm not sure yet how much I'm gonna vlog because I'm I'm just a little, my mobility is a little limited right now. But, um, oh, I'm even out of breath. Hold on guys, this is not good. Um, I convinced them to let me go home because I am gonna be in a really, really super strict diet um, and I told them yes I will follow it and yes I will follow it because I never want to be in this predicament again I have been sick before but honestly never like this like it was really scary so um, it, I was there for just about six days almost seven days and I'm home now and I'm gonna have a little bit of a salad I'm not even gonna eat the whole thing I just need to eat something for dinner Drink my medicine, antibiotics, probably drink one pain pill because um, my body's adjusting to, to, you know, moving a lot more. At the hospital, I was just pretty much in bed all day and I, I try to walk as much as possible, but it's just not the same. So, excuse me. I'm like holding on for my dear life. So I'm gonna get off this filming thing or maybe I'll film in the room when I lay myself down. I just wanted to film quickly so that I wouldn't forget because I would probably just go to sleep. Uh, so I will keep you updated um, and see you in a bit. Morning, home biscuits. I feel a lot better. I I thought I was just going to sit down for a moment last night and then I drank my pad and know how fast it was going to kick in that I just fell asleep. So I'm going to um, have very little cereal with almond milk because I'm... Um, he suggested that I could drink dairy, but it has to be very minimal and it has to be low fat. So, um, since I really just don't drink regular milk anymore, I just bought a lot of almond milk at Costco yesterday. And um, I feel like I can move a little bit better than yesterday, but then again, I just woke up, so I haven't done much um, and I rested. Oh gosh, I rested so much more than I did at the hospital. So, um, I'm gonna have a TMI moment in three, two, one. Um, I had a bowel movement this morning and it was great <laughs> because it's like an indicator that things are like getting back together up in there, you know? Um, so that makes me really happy because um, I didn't have any pain when I had my bowel movement and it was um, just as normal as possible. So um, things are, are looking better and, and that helps my gallbladder um, uh, infection and, and, and in the recovery and whatnot. So so that I can, you know, have my surgery pretty soon. Okay, this is not working out. Um, yeah, so I have to, I'm not going to do too much today because I do have to rest and I have to attempt to go to school tomorrow. Um, so I will just, what I really need help with is uh, groceries because a lot of the stuff, you know, that was in here went bad because it was here for a week already. Um, plus however long I, you know, I had already bought it. So I'm, um, whatever I can throw away, I am throwing away, but a lot of it, like how you have to, you know, it's in the refrigerator, so you have to, like a lot of veggies and stuff, you have to kneel down, down there, and I can do it, but I can do it very slowly, and I'm gonna get very tired really fast, I can already tell, so I'm not even gonna attempt to do it. Um, so I'm just walking slowly, whatever's like here on the counter, excuse me, I'm okay with, but anything, anything beyond that, I really can't do it. 
so I'm gonna take a seat to serve myself. <sighs> yeah, so I'm doing a little bit better this morning, feeling better mentally um, as well. So um, yeah, I'm just happy to be home, honestly. What a difference. Like my pain levels were about the same um, yesterday than at night. I typically don't drink pain. I didn't drink pain medication at the hospital for the last two days to sleep only because, um, you know, I'm just trying to see like how much of the pain is really going away and it was pretty, pretty okay. Um, I drank it last night just so that I can have a one good night rest because I can't really drink it today at night unless I'm in pain, obviously, but I'm going to try not to so that I can again wake up and go to school tomorrow and, um, you know, go on about my day and see uh, how much pain tolerance I have. So, but I did that and it just made such a huge difference because honestly, I, I think I woke up maybe once or twice, but really it was like, a, like only once I had to get up out of bed and go use the restroom, which is also good because I would still need to be urinating a lot, you know, cause that's helping flush everything out. So, um, for that, and I fell asleep probably around eight o'clock, like I attempted to, you know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put on my Netflix and, and you know, and I'll just uh, just rest for a little bit and then I was gonna change and uh, nope, I knocked out, um, which was good, you know? So I slept for a majority of the night and um, it makes a huge difference. I feel so much better. So I wanted to um, weigh myself uh, because I wanted to see, um, what I had like to record it what I I weighed like getting out of the hospital pretty much so I'm gonna do that now and then starting tomorrow just continue my I mean I know for sure now that I'm like on a super strict diet that my um, weight loss is gonna be probably where it needed to be from the beginning um, but I didn't want to be so strict but unfortunately circumstances changed so I still want to continue documenting that um, and you know hopefully maybe my illness or you know this this fiasco that happened can help someone else prevent it then I'll do that <laughs> that's how I'm I'm kicking everything out of the way just because I just I'm not gonna bend down and do it so here we go you guys know the rule not the room the placing and I gotta tap it so that I can get to zero. And then I'll step on it. Okay, oh, here we go. 336, guys. That was what? Six pounds in one week? Damn. That's scary. <laughs> um, but I'm finally out of the 340s, I guess. I'm not happy about it. Not the way that it happened, at least. But um, it's okay. I'm going to look at it this in a positive way. Like I said, circumstances change. And it has allowed me to... Um, sorry. Why am I getting emotional? It was just really scary. And I know that it's like more common than, 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 um, than anything like tons of people. I've heard people talk about stones and this and that, but I personally have never experienced a pain like that. And it was awful. And being at the hospital was awful. Like I had friends and family visit and, uh, you know, people brought me stuff. I had my laptop and everything, but like one day I didn't even feel like doing anything and then at one point they had told me that I was gonna leave. No, they told me I was on the possible discharge list, with which I know that means I may or may not leave. Like I know that, but it just brought me such hope that I was like, yeah, I think today's the day. And then the doctor came in and he goes, no, you're not leaving. And so it just, my, my, just my mentality and, and my, my state of mind just kind of dropped and I was just not feeling it that day and I didn't eat anything. I lost my entire appetite and 
So I had one of the nurses talk to me. She was so kind and she was like, just eat. She's like, if you don't eat, you're not, he's gonna see that you're not progressing and you're not really gonna leave. So I had to like force myself to eat. Um, and then the next day I had to do the same thing and kind of just push through it. But um, I guess I just got emotional because really that's not the way that I wanted to lose weight, you know? But it's okay. Um, sometimes, you know, just got to get forced to do things. So, um, uh, yeah, that, that came out of nowhere, but hey, I'm not going to stop filming, right? Um, yeah, so I'm going to eat because I, I have, um, I don't want to go too long. It's already like eight something and, um, I don't want to go feeling hungry and, you know, like try to eat a lot because I know I can't. So, um, I'll just catch up with you guys later and, um, see what else I can record. But I just wanted to give you guys this update. I don't know what my vlogging style is going to be, at least for the next week or two. Just bear with me. If I don't pick up the camera for the rest of the day, then this is probably going to be the end of the video. If not, then obviously you're just going to see the next clip. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo. And don't forget to subscribe.